We are warning all citizens in the Northern District to urgently seek cover. Authorities have identified a serious and imminent threat to your safety. Anyone in these regions are instructed to immediately seek shelter below grade or ground level or to gather necessary supplies to survive for remaining fallout, including food, water, and medical supplies. Anyone who does not have access should seek neighbors or friends for help. We are expecting this threat to materialize by 10 p.m. this evening, and the fallout is unknown at this time, but very real. Please take action now. This video is sponsored by DraftKings, the leader in daily fantasy sports. Do you guys like fantasy football? DraftKings is putting you in the center of the actions with millions of dollars in prizes every week of the regular football season. In order to play, you at first have to draft nine players. One quarterback, two running backs, three wide receivers, one tight end, one flex, and one defense. Some of my picks are Patrick Mahomes or Derek McCaffrey. Each player listed has an assigned salary in a valid lineup must not exceed $50,000. Once you've picked your fantasy team, all you gotta do is sit back, relax, watch some football, and then you get to rack up points from touchdowns, yards, field goals, and much more. Full rules and scoring can be found at DraftKings.com slash fantasy dash football. New users use promo code MSR during sign up and get a shot at a million dollars in prizes with your first deposit. Join today for your shot at winning millions of prizes every week. What you got for me, Dwayne? Surprise. This is our doomsday shelter. Well, yeah, and we're gonna need it soon, I'm guessing. Give me inside scoop, do you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll just leave it at that. Exactly. Time has finally come. We're gonna build a bunker. I've got a limited amount of time and I wanna build a shelter. A bunker, it could be a tornado shelter. It could be, you know, a bug out shelter, you know, incoming threats. The idea is to get underground. So that's what we're gonna do. Some place to hide for a limited amount of time if you wanna get away. Let's have a little bit of a hill we got over here. And uh, the plan today is to sink a giant steel structure into the ground and make us a place to shelter. So Don, Don's here. Don's here, my trusty friend and helper. We're going to, uh, we've got this thing here. This is our bomb shelter. This guy here is going to house the sort of, the bug out shelter in place. We're gonna sink this thing. It's made of solid steel. It weighs a ton. Did I mention it's solid? We can bury this thing in the ground and we can make ourselves a little bit of a, a rest area or a place to sleep, a place to kind of, you know, hold in place, shelter in place until the threat has been removed. So that's the plan. What do you think of our plan, Don? Sounds good to me. Sounds good? Yeah. What do you think? It fits you perfect, doesn't it? It's, all, it's, it's about Don's size, right? Yeah, you got, you, about, yeah, my size. Very nice sitting here. Cozy. All right, let's get digging. It's digging time. So the plan is to dig sort of a flat spot out right over here, and that'll give us a nice spot to put our big pipe. Don, why why are we digging with by hand? I don't know. Is that, we have a tractor. So. The tractor's laughing at me, right? Why am I not using the tractor? The unknown, that's what the idea behind this doomsday bunker is. We're protecting ourselves from the unknown. It's always good to be prepared. Boy Scouts, right? Be prepared. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. The place has got a little bit of stuff behind it, so Clear this stuff out. So we gotta get our indoor look in the right part. We got a little bit of weird rubbery stuff on there. Ideally, you want it nice and bright because you're gonna be in here for a little bit. So we're working on getting this little this rubber stuff off. What is it? kind of rubbery and sticky at the same time. Who knows what it is? It's just really hard to get off. I was doing it the wrong way? Yeah. Oh. That stuff stuck better than uh, stuff to a horse blanket. Whoa. It was on there good. That is a good guy there. Pretty close. That's pretty good. I'm gonna clean it up with a grinder. 
Sounds good to me. I got my little flap disc on my grinder. Picked that flap disc up from Princess Auto. I'm gonna grind the surface of everything in order to clean off a little bit of the rust before I paint it because I want it to be nice and bright in there and rusty isn't the most appealing color. We got the old mask on the head so it doesn't get rust all in my hair. Huh. I'm ready. We're ready for the apocalypse. Oh, not quite. Oh, got my tune. That's better. I can't hear. I can't hear a thing. I got a little bit of mutton chops going on there. Got the, uh, and I got a tan. Look at, I don't want to lick my finger. Look at, farmer's there's tan. a farmer's tan slash rust tan. Look at that. I'm a little dirty. I'm Iron Man. I'm full of iron now. Anyway, this is what we're going to coat it with oil based stain blocker. We're going to give Zinzer a run for its money. This is possibly the toughest job. Zinzer has ever experienced the old rusty bunker. All right, we got her all painted up. Don says it looks like a giant coconut and I agree with him. It is very white on the inside, brown on the outside. My big white pipe, fair size, fair size white pipe. That is an oil-based product, so that's going to take a little bit while to dry. And speaking of time to dry, this is, you know, the time's ticking. We got 12 hours to build this thing. We've got a couple hours for this thing to dry. We've gonna, and meanwhile, while we're waiting for this thing to dry, we're gonna start putting the front on. Uh, front's gonna be clad of, uh, we've got, uh, what kind of wood is that, Don? Is that right, hemlock. So we've got some really, really thick hemlock. And we're gonna put it on the front of it and then we're gonna cut our door in. Yeah, that's what's gonna protect us from everything and anything. All right, let's uh, get this thing, let's get the front on this thing. Now that we've got our door kind of half hung, we've got to put infill where the space is. And uh, what the great thing about this door is it's all metal. And uh, you know, in, in future projects, we might be able to line this whole thing with lead to give us a little bit more protection from the inevitable. That's the, uh, that's the plan there. And then you could line the back of the uh, hemlock wood with again, more lead to give yourself a little bit more shielding. You could line the whole thing with lead. All right, now, so now that we have our shelter partially buried, we're gonna have to deal with the fresh air intake situation. And uh, what I'm gonna do for that is put somewhat of a snorkel on. So I got some old ABS pipe and I got some duct tape. I'm gonna duct tape that guy there. And then I've got chemical biological filter canister. So what you're gonna do is if when you want fresh air or if you feel like you need it, you can actually just actually hook onto this pipe on the other side and you can breathe in fresh air. It'll all be filtered by this canister. It'll stick up outside. And then if you need to, you can actually recharge these canisters, replace these canisters. I don't exactly know if this is going to work, but this is all I have. And I got a very short time frame to deal with it. They give you a little key. Open the canister. Oh yeah. Just attach that to my pipe just like that. Oh, it fits perfectly. My snorkel. Make an airtight seal. Oh yeah, fresh air. You can, in theory, just walk around like this. Who needs this? <laughs> fresh air. That'll work pretty good. What do you think, Bean? You think you can wear that? Like that. The thread's taped on. Tape that guy onto there. So as you guys can see, my bunker's coming along quite well. You can see the paint has set up, it's dry. I'm gonna put my duct tape in here because it's always good to have duct tape on hand. 
especially at the end of the world. So that's my first supply for my overnight. You can see my cold air, or my fresh air intake here, and it allows me to, uh, I can hook up a pipe there and I can actually inhale from the outside. I still need a whole pile of dirt on this thing, so that's what I'm gonna work on now. I gotta move a whole metric ton of dirt in order to cover this thing. Thicker the dirt, the more protection you're gonna have from the outside elements, especially like in, in case of sort of a bomb blast or um, gunfire. Covered in dirt, you're probably the safest you can be. Sort of an emergency shelter, this is what I have, this is what I'm gonna build. If I had more time, maybe I would uh, do it a little differently, but this is, this is shaping up to be pretty good. It's actually quite hot in here because the sun is beating down on this thing. It's actually done well to cure my paint, so I'm just gonna cover it, and then I'll work on the inside. Give myself a little bit of a Increase your comfort to weather the storm. How's that for creature comforts? This little guy here, I actually ended up having to cut the little corners off the uh, things in order to spin it around so I can get it in. Hindsight, I probably should have put them in before I put the front wall on. But as you can see, this is a pretty nice, place to you know sit down you lay down oh it's pretty comfortable it's an insulated garage door panel so it's pretty it's pretty solid and also it offers some sort of like thermal protection from the from the down low it gives us a little bit of storage space underneath the hidden feature behind this thing is that it actually reclines so if you're in here for a long time maybe <clears throat> you're weathering out the storm that's pretty good or you can really tilt it. Maybe you're sitting at your office desk. That's not bad. Multi purpose bench. Mm. We need some more creature comforts. I think, first and foremost, water. It's important to have water because if you don't have water, nothing else matters. So, Here's my water storage. Put it underneath my bed. That should be enough to last a little while anyways. It's always good to have your medical supplies on hand. You always want your first aid kit. You've got uh, you know, your gauze and your steri strips and your chemical ice pack and your, you've got your bandages and your tape irrigation, sodium chloride in order to wash out any wounds, and you got some uh, medical grade alcohol in order to clean that out, and then you got your iodine to clean out your wounds. So yeah, it's always good to have a little bit of a medical kit on hand in case you arrive at your bunker and you're injured and you need to treat yourself or somebody else. Now we gotta deal with some lighting. We need lighting because when the door is closed, it's gonna be awfully dark in here. So power and then communication, let's deal with that. Just in case the power goes out, you got candles. Just to clarify about the power going out, it's, it's whether or not you get an EMP and it fries all your electronics, you still little, need a little bit of primitive technology in order to you know, weather the storm. So if you need you know, a candle, a candle is a very basic necessity that coupled with matches to light it. So we got that. Modern LED technology, it's better to have everything. Signal. Whoa! My lighting shelf. Now I need to put. I'm gonna put a powered uh, little LED lamp there as well, so I have the best of everything. Portable light, primitive light. It's always good to have options. So this little guy is a 500 watt power pack, and I can sit right there. I can plug my my lighting in. Have more light. The good thing about this thing is, is you can actually plug your uh, USB ports in and then you can charge your phones or your devices that way and you, you get a dual port in case your buddy has to come in here with you and charge his phone because you know it's good to have phones it's also got you know DC voltage for that sort of thing so we've got our lighting set up we've got our line voltage power we've got our primitive lighting with our candles we got portable lighting with our flashlights, which is crazy because it's the brightest thing in here. I've got my quickly packed duffel bag. I've got, uh, you know, some essentials. I got my toothpaste. I've got my, you know, toothbrush, 
and my socks and my underwear and some soap and a knife and some pencils and some you know stuff to pass the time some crossword puzzles got a bag of chips because that's important got some tang because well if they can survive on the space station with tang surely enough i can survive in my bunker with tang mmm tang you remember tang tang's delicious but you got to mix it according to the specifications on the box you know not like your parents would do when they would put like one package of tang and like 20 packs of pa 20 parts water one part tang yeah it's no good you got to mix it according to the directions where it's like a syrup that comes out and it's delicious that'll that'll keep you alive for days keep you awake for days too anyway so i'm all packed with my bug out bag Head on back to the shelter. We can't fit you guys in the bunker, so you guys are gonna have to weather the storm out here. You guys would be okay, I'm sure. It's a bit like tanks, right? You guys can take a blast. That straw looks like it's comfy. You guys would be okay, right? Well, you guys have an idea of what I have in my bug out bag. What would you put in your bug out bag, given, you know, short notice, rush, rush, rush? I guess, ideally, in, a Dallas, in an ideal situation, you would prepare your bug out bag well in advance, grab it, and go. I'm not at that stage yet. I was more of a, you know, grab it, grab the bag, throw as many things as you can in, last minute sort of thing. It's always better to be prepared. In this case, I wasn't quite prepared, but I've got the stuff I need for overnight, I think, anyways. Let's talk a little bit about defense. Now, ideally, you don't get yourself in a position where you've got to defend yourself against other people. It's better to just, you know, flee, run away, hide, Obviously, hand-to-hand -hand combat's not my forte, but uh, if, if it were to occur, you always want to be prepared, so I got my my axe. Now, this isn't an ideal, it's, it's not an ideal weapon, because it's, um, well, it's an axe, and it's hard, to, uh, it's hard to swing, and it's not very, you know, swingable in a closed, confined space. So my, my item of choice would be a little tiny bat, because you got, you got some head speed on it. This is actually the first thing I've ever turned on my lathe. I still have it. That's probably the only functional thing I actually turned on my lathe. It's an ash. Ash, piece of firewood, turned into a bat. But I think your best weapon is a dowel. It's because it's really light. You can get it going real fast if you need to. Quack, 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 quack. Anyways, that or, or if you, you know, you got your distance going on. You got a little ace jet throwing axe. This little guy, actually you throw it like this. And if she goes, she flies and ideally into your target, whatever that might be. And it's good to pass the time. There's probably gonna be no, no assailants or anything. So you can just you know, throw this into a tree. It's good for passing the time because it's all about waiting around. For outside communication, we got our cell phones. Uh, we've got our cell boosters, which gives us better range in here. And right here, I got a wind up radio. So wind up, wind up, wind up, wah, wah, wah. It's a wind up radio and flashlight. So I get to turn it on, look at it. It's got its own little generator in there, generates power and then you can turn it on. You tune it in. Come in Tokyo! Hello? Anyways, I was just kidding there. I actually can't get a radio station to play on YouTube because, uh, yeah, they just don't like that. So anyways, I can get this thing working. It'll let me listen to the outside world and I'll know what's going on in the event of a catastrophe. They'll be broadcasting on the radio. It's good to have a friend or a pet. Or food. Hey, you gonna lay some eggs for me? We got a little laying hen here, and this will give us breakfast in the morning, right? You can stay in here, yeah. You can stay here as long as you want. What do you see? You're here for a reason. You get to lay eggs. I don't think I've ever been someplace where it's so quiet with the chicken. I can hear its insides doing something. Are you going to lay an egg or are you just going to poop on me? Sounds like you want to poop. We'll see how this works. Whew, safe inside. Hey, Bean? Did you fend from that big black dog? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Stay. Up on the bed. Okay. 
Sit. Tour, quick tour of the bomb shelter before we uh, get my family here. Literally 10 tons of dirt on top of this thing. It's holed up in the ground. It's got a nice special fresh air intake. It's got a steel door to keep out a lot of the, a lot of anything really. And uh, come on in. So what we've got, what we've got here is a solid steel container. Let me just close the door. We've got our latch and then we've got our protection on the inside. We've got it again lined with dirt. It's a solid steel container. We've got our uh, we've got our little bit of preserves. We got some beans. We got some Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo snacks. Some sna we got our flashlights and our power packs, and we've got our bedding and our place to kind of bug out for the night. This is kind of like an emergency shelter built with a short amount of time, so it gets us away from the potential threats. A little place to hide out. Weather the storm. Got our nice, uh, nice comfy bed. We can lay down. Perfect spot. It's nice and quiet. It's dry. Out of the elements. The fresh air intake up there. See it? All right, Don, you're good in here. I think uh, this is a pretty good place to shelter. You got your cot, you're gonna set that thing up? Yeah, I'm gonna give it a try and all set right. it up. You got your light? Yeah, you good some, luck to you. You got some preserves? I got... Well, you got all the jams and all the all the got, maple syrup. Yeah, so I'm good for sugar. Okay, good. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close you in. Thank you. Good all luck. Right. All right, we're ready to hunker down. I got my wife here, Rachel, and I got my daughter, Lena. Lena, you ready for, you ready to test out the bunker to make sure it's okay? All right, let's get it. Let's get in and get settled. Bean, I think there's room for you too. Ah, there's a spider in there. There's no spiders in there. I hope. Come on, Bean. Sit. All right, we got Bean. I want to get the Bean. You want to get the Bean? You got Bean. All right, Bean. Get in there. Get in there, Bean. You go underneath. There's lots of room down underneath for you. All right. Here, come here back. Here. Oh, good I'm gonna get the flashlight. We gotta get the door closed. Locked. Barrel bolts locked. All right, you in there? We're in. You guys are in there. We got our. I really like my shoes on. You don't want your shoes on? We can take your shoes off, buddy. Yay! All right. Put your feet up. Is it cozy up there? Cozy yeah. up with mom. Cozy. You got your you got your favorite blanket, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And we got your we got our sleeping bags and our blankets, and we've got some emergency provisions over here. We got uh, who Scooby Doo? Scooby Doo. I love Scooby Doo. And uh, some I love brown Scooby Doo. Brown beans. Fun. Watch. Watch this, buddy. Here. Here. Oh. Spiders? What are those? What are those? Do you know what these are? No. Okay. Spiders? <sighs> well, it's a, net. it's a match. Oh. Just in case. Just in case the power goes out. We go ahead. We light, we light our match. Strike anywhere. Ooh. It's like your birthday. So this is just in case our batteries don't last anymore. Beanie's trying to get comfortable on the bed. Beanie's <laughs> finding a spot. Did you find a spot, Bean? Well, look at that. She's got a spot right on top of all the... Uh, the medical supplies. All the medical supplies. Hey, Bean? Where's Bean? Here, lift your feet. Let's show Bean. Lift your feet. Lift what do you think, Bean? She let some smoke in here. Oh, that's okay. That's It'll, It'll vent. Yeah, I think we got our candles lit. Can I blow got... them out because it's time for bed time. Is it time for bed? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to go to bed? Yeah, we should blow them out. Do you, do you want me to blow them out? You just want to blow them out because you like blowing out candles. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go for it. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. No, no. Tomorrow is my happy my birthday. Is tomorrow your birthday? Okay. <laughs> pretend and you gotta light my candle. It's a pretend birthday tomorrow. I want. Uh, we gotta have supper of the beans. We're having beans for supper. I gotta eat them. Okay. Well, hang on. I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna get a spoon. All right. Lena, what would you like? You want some alfagetti? You want baked brown beans? Brown beans. Brown beans. You sure? Mm hmm Okay. I eat brown beans because I like brown beans. All right. Well, I'll just open the can. Do you have any forks in here? They only put them forks? with me. Oh, are you going to try some? Here, well, I'll give you a spoon. Here you go. You're going to feed me it. Well, you want me to feed you it? Because I'm, I'm a baby. You're not a baby. You could eat brown beans. You want cold brown beans? <laughs> All right. Try your brown beans there, buddy. Okay. Was it good? You like that? Excellent. There's more where that comes from. All right. Do you finish that up and then let's get tucked into bed.
Well, hopefully Don's doing okay. He's holed up in the root cellar. It's always important to keep the people closest to you safe. I've got my people in here. Hopefully Don's doing well. Okay, I'm all set up here. I've got my cot set up. I'm going to try and get some sleep. Hopefully everyone uh, is fine out there. I'm just going to keep my ears open and hopefully uh, hear that everything will be okay. We're just going to get into bed. We're going to get as comfortable as we can. Lena's all ready for bed, so hopefully we survive the night and we'll have a look in the morning and see how everything worked out. Good night, Rachel. Good night. Hang on, I'll go check. All right, Bean. Let's go check and see if everything's okay. We didn't hear anything last night. I think everything, everything survived. Everything looks kind of normal out here. Maybe I'll go look over the rise and see if everything's, everything's good. All right, everything looks okay. You guys can come out. All right, let's go. Lena, did you have a good sleep? I don't want to get out yet. You don't want to get out yet? Was it that comfortable? Yeah, it's really comfortable with mommy, okay? All right. I got to quickly go and check and see if Don's okay. He spent the night in the root cellar just making sure he made it out okay. Hey, Don, you awake? Hey, let me let me get you out. Everybody okay out here? I think so. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. The night was comfortable. How many maple syrups did you eat? Uh, a couple. Oh, nice. All right, Don, now that you're good, let's go check a look and see if everything's okay up on the top side. Well, Don, everything looks okay. But wait a minute. <laughs>